What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Wolf Cryer here, and today I want to talk about Season 16 so far as it pertains to the Monk class. And I gotta say, one and a half weeks into this season, I am loving it. Alright, so before we get into the meat and potatoes of this video, the Monk class in Season 16, I want to take a second to thank those streamers involved in the Level with a Cause charity event during opening weekend of Season 16. All of those streamers involved, we were able to raise over $4,000 for Save the Children. And I want to say thank you to Save the Children for all the work they do for children across this world. And I'd also like to give some thanks to Diablo fans and BlizzPro for raising awareness for Level with a Cause. What we do is we stream during opening weekends, raising money for charity, lots of big name streamers involved for Diablo 3, and it's a fun time. And so far, Level with a Cause has raised over $44,000 for charity since Season 11. And we will be back for Season 17. Alright, now on to the Monk in Season 16. I gotta say that what started with Patch 2.6.1 really seems to be coming together with this latest patch. Patch 2.6.4 has really started to balance out the Monk class, and I'm loving that. There are so many builds that are capable of high-end GRs as far as top-level gameplay. I mean, so far, In His Wave of Light is ruling the European and North American leaderboards, and that build is pretty much everywhere. So far, it's cleared a 118, I think, on both EU and North America, and it is a very, very strong build, but we know that Sun Wuko's Wave of Light can do at least 120, because it pretty much did it last season, or it came close, and now there's buffs to the Sun Woko set as well. The number six player in Europe is running Raymond Generator. They've already cleared a 116 with Raymond Generator, so that is a very strong build as well. And the number one build in the world is not in his Wave of Light, and it is not R6 either. It is an Uliana's Monk over in Asia, has cleared a 119 GR already, one and a half weeks into Season 16. A 119 has been done by an Asian player using Uliana's Exploding Palm build. So that build is beast mode as well. I don't know how the rest of the season's going to shape up, but I am definitely looking forward to seeing how everything goes because all these builds are very, very strong. You, you've even got Legacy of Nightmares, Wave of Light, and Raymond Generator pretty much ruling non-season leaderboards. So that's pretty cool that both non-season and season have different metas entirely. Plus, I'm loving the fact that Monk is now in a speed running meta, a speed farming GR meta. So you can do GR 100s with two barbs, a charge barb, a support barb, a demon hunter for killing off elites and the Rift Guardian, and a Z monk, a shrine monk, if you will. And that's pretty awesome to be a part of that. No more need for rat runs. Yes, Rathma runs with three necromancers and a barb is still very, very efficient at farming Paragon, but so is this new setup as well. And you can actually get away with doing several different setups if you want to run four to five minute GR 100s as a group. So there's a lot of options out there for you. So this season, I think, really starts to tie everything together. I think they need to make a few more passes with the whole balance swand. And I think everything should start to balance out in this game, which is what I've been looking for all along, is some balance of the game where there's not some meta where everybody's playing the same exact build in order to be in the top 10. Now you can play several different builds, and this was exactly what I was hoping for out of patch 2.6.4, and it is here. I mean, I was not expecting to log into the Asian server today and see an Uliana's build passing the GR119 already. That is pretty awesome, and 
I am currently running Inner's Wave of Light. I'm also running Sun Wuko's Wave of Light for my speed farming. I've got a Shrine Monk set up already. I've got Uliana's set up, but I haven't pushed with whatsoever. I'm starting to build up my Raiment Generator build. I know I said I wouldn't play it, but I do want to try it out, see how it goes. Plus, Inner's Generator is okay still. It's just not going to surpass Raiment Generator. So the Raiment six piece or five piece because of the buff for the Royal Ring of Grandeur, which is an amazing buff and it changes up the game, changes up the builds. And this is exactly what I wanted to see come out of those whole seasonal themes. I was really hoping for something that would change up the game. And this is the right road. This is the right direction. I know you're not watching me, Blizzard, but if you are, keep doing this because this is what the game needs it needs some way of keeping it fresh keeping people coming back keeping people trying different builds and that sort of thing and i am really really enjoying season 16. i'm almost a thousand paragon a week and a half in for me personally as a semi casual player i'd call myself i do go hard during opening weekend but then i trail off you know, I like to play other games. I have a family, all that type of stuff. But I am still almost a thousand Paragon. That is crazy. And it's because of all these buffs. Everybody's able to do a little bit higher. Everybody's able to compete a little bit more with different builds. And for the Monk, I mean, it's just really, really so close to balanced as far as all the sets and all the different builds that you can run. Also, we need some love for Tempest Rush because... Something's got to be done. Either that or change the skill entirely. Because I'd like to see that skill. It just needs to become useful for something. But overall, this season is pretty awesome in that regards. As far as so many different builds pushing those leaderboards. Surprising me. Which hasn't happened in this game in such a very, very long time. And that's... That's the most epic part of it. Being able to look at the leaderboards on different servers and realize that, oh, they're doing this and they're doing it good or doing it well, rather. And it's just pretty awesome to see. I am loving the changes to the monk. I am loving this ring of royal grandeur buff. It is pretty beast. It's changing up the game a little bit. And this is what I want to see out of the game going forward. We might never get new content or anything like that. But if they can do this for us every season and change things up and start adding little nuances to each season, that would be exactly what I want out of this game. This game is six years old. I still love playing it. I play it every season opener. No matter how much I trail off at the end of the season, I'm always there for the beginning of the season, and I love playing this game. And it definitely is awesome to see things mixing up a bit. So hopefully going forward, the next PTR or whatever, this will continue the tradition started with patch 2.6.4, season 16, and going forward, that, that would be something that would be great. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so very much for taking the time out of your day to watch my video. I always greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I want to hear your thoughts in that comment section down below. What are you playing this season? Are you playing Monk? And if so, what build are you running with? How high have you gotten on GRs? That sort of thing. I want to know your thoughts on season 16. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you once again, and you all have a fantastic day. Peace.